catches the ball with his kid in his arms, puts the kid down, and then fires it back. Okay, the craziest thing is that wasn't even the wildest foul ball in the MLB last night. This was. Slide down the line. Whoa! Almost hit a giant bird! What is that? A duck? Okay, bringing in an early poll, what do you like better, dad catch or giant bird? I'm not really a bird person, so I'm gonna go with dad catch. This is Sports Center. Hey, I'm Mercer Roberto, and this is Digital Sports Center presented by TELUS. And it's Thursday, so that means there's only one place to start. That's with Thursday Night Football. Now, it was always looking to go this way. And we got the news yesterday, shortly after posting the show. Saquon Barkley is out tonight with that ankle injury. Even with Barkley in, this would have been a tough game for the Giants. And without him, they could be in real trouble. As the Niners look like the class of the NFC. And the odds reflect that, as they are favorites to win the conference at plus 310. And honestly, looking at that list, it really falls off a cliff after the Cowboys. For the Niners this year, it's been all about Christian McCaffrey, showing just how good he is in that Shanahan system. Him. He's been an absolute beast leading the NFL in rushing, as well as leading the league in 20 plus yard and 40 plus yard runs. And any questions anyone had about Brock Purdy coming into the season, well, they seem to be answered so far. And Purdy's on his way to a potential record if the Niners keep winning. Purdy started his regular season career with eight straight wins. And with three more, he'll be by himself in second place on the all time list, with Ben Roethlisberger sitting atop the list as he started his career with 15 straight wins. The spread has been moving on this one all week and moves some more with the Barkley injury as it's now up to Niners minus 10.5. With the total set at 43.5 and you can watch the Giants and Niners tonight on TSN. Coverage begins at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. <laughs> the boys are so back with NHL camps kicking off yesterday and one of the highlights of the year for content nerds, Media Day. Let's take a little skate around the league with highlights from the day. And here's a sad one for all you Flo fans out there. As the bread man is loafless. And just shout out to Julia to share it because she wrote that line and it's masterful. Artemi Panarin has chopped his famously luscious curls, sporting an almost completely bald look for his headshot this year. No, why? Why did you, why did you, why did you do that? And bad news because he's not the only one. Hockey Twitter favorite Matt Barzell also debuted a new look. And Barzell stands are fully disturbed. Is it just like you were hot in the summer? So you shaved it like Pedro? I don't, what, it, what, why? Why is this happening? Another year and we get another ridiculous headshot from Brandon Tanev. Okay, you know what? <laughs> uh, I like that he's committing to the bit. We love a bit, we love a callback. You're a real one. Tanev has been famous for his media day photos since Pittsburgh. His iconic headshot has even taken to bobblehead form. And out in Music City, the Nashville Predators were answering the tough questions. Like how to not choke on your fake jibs. Have I ever swallowed my chiclet pulling out? As you can see, it's quite big. So fortunately, no, well, fortunately, no, I haven't swallowed it, which is good. But um, sometimes though, if I try to put it in quick, it will get kind of caught like sideways and then cut the top of my mouth and that does not feel good. But uh, great question. And you know they had to be asked about their favorite Taylor Swift songs. I have a lot of favorite Taylor Swift songs. Um, it kind of changes all the time. Went to a concert, changed again. So I would say right now it's probably August. We stand a folklore king? Are you kidding me? Oof, he's into the deep tracks. Now here's one we have not seen before. The Blues had a full ice throne made. I had a fake snow machine for some of their shots this season. Look at the fake snow sitting perfectly in that flow. <laughs> Okay, what did I just see? Time now for my favorite segment and yours, why we love sports today. Why we love sports today. And this is 1v1 soccer, where you need to be the defender and then the goalie. And some of these goals are just unreal, but none more than this last one to win it. Oh my God, really? How did he do that? That was sick. That was so sick. How did we get him on the show? Okay, we've all had to deal with bad refing before, but this video takes that to a whole new level. What do you think the call was about, I guess, is the question. He's answering the call mid-game. It's gotta be important. Oh, he's getting, he's fighting. <gasps> it's time now to kick for good presented by TELUS. When we last checked in with Jesse, who was getting some pointers from Grey Cup champion and Ticats kicker Mark Leggio. Now Lex gave him some advice and taught him how to prepare mentally for that kick. And today we're going to see a practice round and Jesse brought some Bardown friends with him to help with his kick. We're at Tim Hortons Field in Hamilton, home of the 110th Grey Cup. Let's kick for good together. And I've got some friends joining me. 
Let's go meet him now. So we got two more hooligans joining us for this. Luca, Pac. These guys were drilling kicks before. I was trying to watch to see what they were doing and couldn't really comprehend what was going on. We're gonna all be kicking some field goals and you're gonna be helping us out and try, try to, specifically try to get me to nail one of these. Hey, I'll do my best and uh, you guys look like you're ready to go. So I'm happy to be here to help. There's a lot on the line here. We're not messing around, Mark. I don't mess around either. It's either you do it or I'm out of here. Let's go. All right, I'm up first. Hey, he's looking good already. He's got the steps down. Yeah. I hit the ground too, but that's <laughs> good, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Not bad, eh? I'm sorry. Hey, do you need this? <laughs> All right. Ultimate key to hitting this field goal, Bill Crothers Colts shorts. Fellow Bill Crothers alum, shout out. I'm thinking a little three steps back, you know, try to, you know, look like you pretend to know what you're doing. Laces out, Dan. That's all you gotta say. Laces out. Yeah, oh. That legit could have gone 50 yards. I could have gone 50. That looked really good. Trying to make us look bad, Pac. You want the Crothers shorts? Adds at least five to 10 yards. I'm gonna do exactly what Pac did. One, two, three, one, too. There's no way he's making it. You don't need it. to put your hand up. <laughs> Look at those shoes. I, I'm letting Winnipeg know. I'm ready to go. This is going to be so bad. <laughs> Dude, that's not, good. that's not good from five yards. All right, man. I clearly got a lot of work to do. What would you suggest? You were a little bit short, so I would say you got to. <laughs> that's a great observation. You have to go bottom of the ball. You were really on top of the ball. So I would say like really get your head down and swing more through. Other than that, the ball went straight, just a little bit more cleaner contact and I think you got it. Nothing to worry about. I disagree. I think he has plenty to worry about. How is this guy an athlete? I don't get it. Just a reminder, you can win a trip for two to the 110th Grey Cup and the chance to kick for good on field. Go to www.kickforgood.com to enter the contest or just click the link below. The grand prize includes a round trip airfare for two, three nights accommodation and two tickets to the game. Plus the winner will go on field during the 110th Grey Cup and have the opportunity to kick for good to win $5,000 for the charity of their choice and a Google Pixel 7 Pro smartphone. <laughs> Time now for our FanDuel Fast Facts where I give you some key points for tonight's Giants-Niners game as fast as I can. So we're at about 40 seconds on the play clock and see how many of these I can get through. Now my high score this year is five and that's from week one. And last week I was sewered by a questionable list of facts from my producer Christopher Hines, so let's see how I do this week. The Niners are 10.5 favorites for tonight's game. Damn, do I have to say 10 and a half favorites? The Niners are 10 and a half point favorites for tonight's game but have covered 10 for the last 11 games as home favorites, including five straight covers. Since 2005, double digits underdogs on Thursdays have gone 12 and 21 against the spread. The Giants have covered 10 straight games on short rest, including three and zero against the spread. Record under coach Brian, Brian Dable, oh my god! Since 2005, teams are 0-2 against the spread and have gone 83-66 and 1 against the spread in Week 3. Christian McCaffrey has scored a touchdown in each of San Francisco's first two games of the season, 11 straight games dating back to last season. He's minus 250 on, to score a touchdown in tonight's game. The total for tonight's game is 43.5. The over went 4-2 and two in Week 2, the most overs in a single week at least n Okay, okay. Okay, I was told I got 5, which matches my high score, but I almost got through 6. I literally had one word left in the sixth one. So I feel like that should count, but let's go five and a half, yeah? No, okay, I'm getting called, I'm getting told it's a no. Anyway, I hate this game. That's all for today, we'll see you tomorrow at 3 Eastern, no Pacific. Have a good one.